So here at the Brainport campus in Eindhoven, uh, we have an excellent example of innovative automation using high mix, low volume production. The machine has uh, two collaborative robots, a vision system and an overhead projector system to guide the human operator in the assembly and disassembly of the product. The machine provides an interactive training and, and learning solution for the human operator. The machine, using the vision system, uh, checks the quality of the product and helps the uh, human operator to get up to speed very quickly. We collaborated with Perspective to develop a digital twin and this will help us to understand the customer values and uh, technology that is required to develop a digital twin. So during this project we uh, learned that uh, the digital twin can be very useful in setting up a machine and environment. Flexible manufacturing is very important and the ability to simulate these things in advance, to design them virtually and test them as well can be very useful. In terms of flexible manufacturing, changes can be made to the machine and these can be reflected in the digital twin, tested and then put into production as well. So with the digital twin you can, uh, you can test out a number of different design approaches, you can simulate them in an environment, it's possible to test them and get some real uh, values that show the difference in perhaps the time it takes for a process and then those design changes can be applied to the machine later on down the line. So obviously this saves time in manufacturing, it saves cost, uh, particularly in rework as well, because hopefully by the time you get to build the machine, you've already got some, uh, some tested uh, information about the machine. Uh, secondly, uh, you can collect information from a real machine. When you're connected with the digital twin, you can be reading values, for example, uh, temperature data from the, uh, the actual robot values. The, uh, the motors, so heat, torque, power, things like that, uh, and these will directly affect the amount of maintenance that the machine needs. So you can predict future needs of the machine's maintenance uh, and arrange in advance so you can be proactive instead of just reactive. So this affects further down the uh, the life cycle of the machine as well. So yes, we did some work with VR and AR setup, and uh, obviously this is uh, very useful in training operators. With coming to a new machine, they need a certain amount of expertise learnt, uh, and doing that without interfering with the production line on a real machine. And as well, the safety aspect, they can uh, use a virtual environment without any risk of being hurt. So this could save time, and uh, reduce impact on production and uh, allow people to train remotely as well because obviously they don't need a physical machine in order to work with a digital twin. Uh, yeah, we chose to uh, collaborate with Perspective because uh, their platform uses Unity 3D which is open and widely used uh, simulation engine. We could directly connect the production line to the digital twin and analyze different use cases such as a design change or operating training using virtual reality. Designing a digital twin can become quite complex, so a perspective assisted us with designing uh, and implementing a digital twin. But together with perspective, we created our first digital twin. Omron will continue to research digital twin technology such that we can create more easy, flexible and sustainable technologies for our customers. Perspective uh, helps industrial manufacturing uh, companies like Omron to create digital twins of their machines, for virtual prototypes, for virtual testing, virtual commissioning and also uh, virtual training. So together with Omron, uh, we created a virtual prototype of the machine behind me. So in this way, Omron could see what this technology could do for them and see how this technology could benefit their clients.